Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a quick way to get your Mixamo motions into Unreal Engine. Since Mixamo dropped support for Unreal Engine specific FBX downloads, users are no longer able to download Mixamo animations and target them into any previous Unreal FBX skeletal meshes. You'll need to replace the older character entirely, which is a lot of work. We made this pipeline for those of you who want a shortcut for this. I've always liked the zombie motions from the Mixamo library, so let's use one of those as an example. I'm going to cue this zombie crawl motion for FBX download first. You'll see there's no longer an Unreal FBX download option, which is why we provided this workaround. We can export it with skin, just cue it, and then download. Enter 3D Exchange. What we want to do here is simply load in the first zombie motion FBX right off the bat. 3D Exchange has automatic detection for the default Mixamo FBX rig export, so just select Yes when asked to convert it to an iClone compatible non standard character rig. You'll see the Mixamo rig immediately retargeted for use in iClone, and the walking animation plays no problem. What we want to do now is export it into iClone format. Make sure that you have the export animation selected, since that's the only reason we're exporting here. We don't need the mesh, just the iMotion file. Let's do the same thing for the zombie crawl motion. Just import in the FBX file and select Yes when prompted. Now we're back in Character Creator. It doesn't really matter which character you have on the screen, all you want to do is go up to FBX Export and make sure that you have Delete Hidden Mesh and Convert Bone Structure for Unreal 4 Rig selected. Naturally, we want to include the zombie motion, so let's select Include Motion and find that particular motion in our explorer. Don't worry about the hidden mesh removal notification, and just go ahead and save your FBX file. After that, we can do the exact same thing for the zombie walk motion. Same export options, but this time include a different iMotion file. Then in Unreal, I currently have the default third-person project loaded up. First, just create a new folder for your FBX import, and click and drag them in. When it comes to FBX import settings, you don't need to include the mesh, so just deselect that. However, you want to make sure that you select the default Unreal 4 rig. And there you have it. You can double click those FBX files in the Unreal library and see those motions applied to the default Unreal rig. It's as easy as that. A quick workaround for those Unreal users who may have been left out in the cold by Mixamo dropping support for the Unreal Rig export. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you check out our other character creator tutorials on YouTube as well, and I'll see you next time.